What's going on YouTube? Mike here with another video and today I wanted to talk about my favorite foldable of 2024 so far. So let's get into it. Okay, so if you've watched my uh, more recent videos, I did one on the uh, OnePlus Open. I kind of compared it to this and the Z Fold 5 and I also Surface Duo 2 in there just for fun. And having all those devices, having owned, used all those devices, I have to say, I keep going back to the Pixel Fold, and it really comes down to the main thing being just the form factor. I mean, the form factor of this, I think, is perfect. I think Google nailed it um, when it comes to how this thing feels in the hand, how it looks. I mean, multitasking, I think, you know, this thing is just killing it. And just when it comes to this folding in landscape instead of portrait, I just think that this is the way. To me, this is the way all the foldables should be because when you open it, you're essentially using it as a mini tablet and you naturally kind of want to hold it in a portrait mode. Or I'm sorry, in a landscape mode. <laughs> At least I do. And like I said, this is definitely my favorite foldable, but I'm not saying it's the best. In my opinion, if you compare this to the ones that you can get in the United States, not having to import, that being the Z Fold series, the OnePlus Open, um, the Surface Duo, or this, um, I think if you just talk about the OnePlus Open and the Z Fold, this comes in last place when it comes to battery life, um, the processor especially. This has still got the Tensor 2 chip in it, which I don't think is a great chip. So the performance is definitely last out of those uh, other two devices. To me, the cameras also probably come in last of those other two devices. So really, when it comes to pure specs, horsepower, you know, cameras, all that, this comes in dead last. But even in spite of that, this is still my favorite device. And like I mentioned, it comes down to, there's my dog, it comes down to how this thing feels in my hand and just the usability. I mean, to me, this, Again, it keeps reminding me of the iPhone 13 mini. Obviously, this is bigger, it's fatter, it's a little bit taller, but when it comes to the foldables, to me, this is kind of the mini of the foldables when it's closed, so when you're using it just as a phone, essentially. But um, I have to say, at first, I wasn't as excited about this. Um, I kept going back between this, the Z Fold, and the OnePlus Open, and finally, I just it came down to the form factor. I just really, there's something about this, just the way it feels in your hand. And it's just been my go-to one. It's the one that's got my SIM card in it. And it's just by far been my foldable so far of 2024. And really, even with software, I still think this is probably a little bit better than the OnePlus software, but definitely not as good as the Z Fold software. So in spite of all the limitations and this being dead last in a spec competition, it's still the one I like just because of the way it feels in the hand. I mean, look how thin this is. I mean, it's pretty dang thin. I've been rocking it caseless other than the uh, D brand leather skin, which looks pretty gnarly at this point. But I've actually dropped this thing twice and uh, didn't receive any damage. Luckily, it's probably just the way it felt. But to me, it's held up good. I know Shane Craig just released a video about his uh, fold and it's got two cracks in the screen. And luckily so far, I've had no issues with the screen on this. It's held up fantastically. Um, so hopefully it continues to do that. But using this actually makes me really excited for the Z Fold 2 if they don't change the width. Rumors are it's gonna be about the same width, but it's gonna be a little taller, which I'm okay with, because I just, I don't know, I like this short squatty form factor. It reminds me also of the Surface Duo, so. To me, this phone is if you took an iPhone 13 mini and a Surface Duo 2, you threw them in a blender, and this is kind of what would come out, in my opinion. So to me, it's kind of the best of both of those phones. Now, I will say this phone has still had some quirks, like occasionally, it, and it only seems to be with YouTube. When I want to do two apps at once, if I have YouTube open and I try and drag another app beside it, a lot of times they'll crash. And it's only done that with YouTube, and it does it, I don't know, maybe one out of 10 times, but it's still there and it still kind of annoys me that it's not been fixed because it's been like that since I've owned the device, which I've had it for probably six months now. 
We'll also say that the tensor chip in this still definitely gets hot, especially when you're shooting prolonged video. That seems to be the only time I've had the issue with it. And I've gotten the warning on the phone saying, hey, your phone is too hot, it needs to shut down. But it's only been when I've been shooting video with this. Like I said, the cameras, I think they're okay. I think they could definitely be better. They're not my favorite. I kind of like the pictures that come out of the Z Fold 5's main camera better than this, but you know, they're not bad pictures by any means. So really, I mean, it's, it's definitely a good camera, but it's not as good, I think, as the competition. So like I said, I've continued to use this device in, the, yeah, in spite of all the flaws that this has, because like I said, it's by no means a perfect device other than physically. I think the form factor to me is perfect, but the performance definitely could use some loving. Um, the battery life I think is actually pretty good, so I don't have any complaints with the battery life, but um, cameras and the chip is definitely what needs to be improved the most. And then of course the software still has its occasional glitch like I've already talked about. But with that, that was just a quick down and dirty update. If you guys have any questions or want to know anything about this, just drop it in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer it. And as always, thanks for watching.